rescue to A from the aircraft. It's, uh, the emergency aircraft is coming about four mile uh, base for one five right. I'll let you know once he gets on final. We had a little excitement. Uh, we did get three green. We did get any green. So we've um, elected to do a, a manual gear extension. I call it manual because it is. It is not an emergency. Of course, ATC gets upset if you tell them you can't get the gear down, and they've declared an emergency for us. So we've been told to expect emergency equipment. We're making the approach to uh, runway 15 right at Islip. And uh, we do indeed have three green. We've followed the procedure in the book. The gear is down. We have notch flaps. Autopilot is off. Pumps and igniters are on manual. And landing light is on. Airport's in sight, of course. We were doing uh, practice r and approaches up uh, up at Providence, Rhode Island, and uh, the last one we tried, we got the double chime and the yellow caution, uh, indicating that something electrical has gone wrong with the gear. In other words, we not only didn't get all the gear down, we didn't get any of the gear down. Now, since we're pilots and not mechanics, we just do what the book says ran through two checklists and uh, got three green so now we're not going to touch anything okay we're tad flat i would say I low you to be advised the aircraft reported he has a three green uh for the year so i'm going to three in the green rescue two and uh i'd like to get the our vehicles right out to the runway once you touch them so 120 till we get a little closer and uh rescue one uh and uh, rescue 80 Behind the aircraft, you can proceed on 1-5, right? So I want you to touch down normally. Use the white rectangles as the aim object. point. And so, rescue 2 and company, uh, do you need to proceed on the runway? Are you probably going to exit off uh, on Bravo 2 or Bravo 3, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll probably hold here. Uh, and then we'll uh, probably go back to the for a touch down. Roger. Hold it nice and still. Best way to do that is uh, use the trim instead of tugging on it. All right, flaps going to full. Yep, good idea. Looks good. I show green, green. left Five center. Mike Alpha, your landing gear appears to be down. Roger, thank you. All right, and we're going to hold power. Yeah, and rescue vehicle, the aircraft. Is about once we're in the white arc. Right now, short final for one five right. Hold the power such that you hold 100 knots or better out here. And then we want 90 over the numbers, 85 over the numbers. 80, the aircraft short final for runway 15 right. 180, Roger. So remember, these guys are just dying to pull you out of a burning airplane. So try not to disappoint them. You're holding rudder now. It's too early to do that. Let go of the rudder and hold the crab. Left thumb up on the trim, be ready. Eyes way down field, coming to flight idle, and slow it down. Stop it right here, stop it. Yeah, stop it right here, just hold it still. Yep, 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 yep. Good job. Wings level, back pressure, brakes, and beta very gently. And I recommend we taxi uber cautiously to the maintenance hangar. Are you okay with that? Yep. Okay, take your time, no heroic efforts. All right, Five Mike Alpha, if you want, you can just turn all the way at the end, right on Bravo 4 and hold position, and the rescue vehicle is going to meet you there. Okay, uh, uh, Bravo 4, hold position, Five Mike Alpha. And rescue 2 and company, you can, uh, if you want, you can proceed on 1-5 right to follow them. 